Shit is fucking terrifying, bro. I don't think it's programming. I just think art has a fine way of predicting life as always. It really does. You know what I mean? It really does. It really does. Um, On on the brighter side of this Ukraine conflict, the the Ukraine female scammer profiles are going crazy right now. Definitely. You know, the fake Ukrainian chicks are like, I need help fleeing, baby. Come on. You know, the Asian girl hitting up her sugar daddy like Dave or 90 Day Fiance. Come on. Fake pictures. Yo, yo, we're trying to get out of here, baby. Uh, Send me that $18,000 to this guy. I know. We're fleeing, baby. They're they're in the Bahamas chilling. Oh, the Ukraine scamming bitches, pardon my language, they're killing them. Killing them, bro. Wow. 100%. Crazy times. Yeah. They're calling the tricks. Somebody man. is a piece of shit and is fucking getting money for sure. A hundred percent. They're calling tricks, playing Apocalypse Now in the background. And they're like, oh, it's wartime. The dude is like, yo, hold on. Is that Wagner in the background? Yeah, they're playing Wagner. Yeah. It's just real. <laughs> Why is that fight the Valkyries going on in the background? I don't know. But it's, just send the now money now, baby. Uh, it, it's fucked up. It, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. I'm just saying. It is you. fucked up. Watch out, Dave. All right. Uh, let, let's move on. Uh, we don't got a lot of time, but we're going to have some time for some fuck shit. What's the freakiest thing y'all ever did together? Uh, <laughs> ain't her pussy in the cemetery. <laughs> ain't her pussy in the cemetery. What? This is in Times Square. Ass to in the cemetery. And what? In the cemetery. You ain't her ass in the cemetery. In the cemetery. <laughs> wow. Why y'all was fucking in the cemetery? Something new. Daytime, nighttime? Nighttime. Spooky hours. <laughs> you like cemetery sex? <laughs> it was good. It was good. <laughs> Fire? Rest in peace, my dead people. <laughs> you eat oh, ass too? Oh, wow. <laughs> she ain't my wow. ass. She's the word. You like that? Hell yeah. Behind. What? Behind. <laughs> behind yeah, what? we get it. He we get it. You ate his ass from behind. You ate his ass from behind. That's the reason. <laughs> How did it taste? It was good. Always. Tastes good. Archery. <laughs> Chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo? <laughs> On a scale from Chicken 1 to 10, how much do you like to suck A million. Sloppy toppy. Whoa. All of them. Wow. Gog gog a million. <laughs> Wait, show us how wow. you do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Describe a head game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, our youth today <laughs> out here. They out here. Wow. <laughs> outside doing wild shit, man. My butt tastes like chicken Alfredo. Yeah, chicken Alfredo, son, all day. <laughs> it was good. It was good. It he was likes good. It from behind. That's the ritual. Uh-huh. That's oh, yeah. the ritual. What? Okay. Wow. He's just up there like he's hiking a football, but there's no football and he's naked. <laughs> Yo. What's going to happen when his people's here that way? Yo, they're going to be like his other boy. Yo, hold on. We just smoked. Yo, 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 we just, we just, we just, yo, my man. You tell us you eating ass like that, bro? Class is going around. That's crazy. Don't worry. I'm, du- I'm double I'm boosted. They I'm seem very boosted. happy. So God bless them. I'm double I'm double back and boosted. You know what I'm saying? We good, Stay safe right? out here in a cemetery. Rest in peace to all my dead people, she said. Rest in peace to all my dead people. <laughs> incredible. Oh, man. Speaking of incredible, Kelly Clarkson was ordered to pay her ex-husband, Brandon Blackstock, almost 200000 a month in spousal and child support. God damn it. Yeah, man, that dude hit a lick on her. Unfortunately, wow. she's she's skyrocketing, man. You know what I'm saying? So she it's not going to pinch her. I just think pride wise, it just sucks. You know what I mean? Because more than likely. I don't really know their relationship, honestly, so I can't really say who's a piece of shit, but it doesn't seem like it's her. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem like she's an actual piece of shit. She might have been. Hard to get along with or whatever led to you know the split of I don't really know the story. People, human you know, shit. You know what I mean, right? But he for, a, a, for a lady to have to pay a man two hundred grand, it just a it month seems upside down. Yeah, it seems upside down. All right, well, all and right. Now, so you know, it now, is that down. might not be feminism. That might not be you know. That might be uh, I don't know what that is. Tab, you know, not PC. Blah blah blah. Because you know, equal rights. Then yeah, you, you want bingo. That. Blah, blah, blah. Bingo. You got to pay. But at the same time, in my heart, it just doesn't feel good to have to watch someone that we all love and respect their talent and this and that and the other. And they're still providing entertainment for us. So that's a giving nature anyway. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem like that's a person that's out here trying to scam people out of money. For that person to have to pay a person that the person getting paid seems like the scammer. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) 
And it, it just see, it feels fucked up. So you're right about it feels fucked up. Anytime a woman gets divorced and have to give them, give the man money, it feels weird, right? First and foremost, you know, you figure, dude, you made your own money by now, make some more, right. or whatever the case is, right? right? But then we go back to the equality thing, and yep. it goes back to this. It goes back to this thing where you can't have it. What's the thing you teach your children? You can't have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it too. And like, what do you mean I can't have my cake and eat it too? Really means you you can't bake your cake and eat it too. Meaning you can't bake the cake and then eat it all. You're gonna have to let someone else enjoy it. You to choose which one of the scale you're on so you can't say hey you know what i said to my boy my boy's getting married engaged uh, you know congratulations to you buddy uh, i'm not gonna say his name like i don't want to marry somebody but okay, he's engaged right mm -hmm. and and i was just like and we're talking about intersexual dynamics and i'm like all right so check it she moved in with you right he's like yeah i'm like so you pay for the mortgage taxes does she pay she pays for the mortgage and taxes he's like no i was like just pay for the cable the internet anything like that phone he's like nah she's you know she's in her phone bill i was like bet but I bet you if you asked her right now to how that household structured, you guys are 50 50. And I was mm -hmm. like, but you're not 50 50. So it's a situation where Kelly Clarkson got that situation reversed on her, where it's mm -hmm. like, dude wasn't paying his way, but they 50 50. And now mm -hmm. they, when they get divorced, he's like, yo, your honor, this is what I need. This is what I'm used to. We 50 50, cough it up. So it goes back to you can't have it both ways. And I feel bad that she has to be the example in this situation. But whoever Her that judge was, fears, yeah. did it did it the right way, did it by the books. Like, yo, yeah. you were the main provider. He held it down. Well, he's not just going to go to a tent because I wouldn't send a woman to a tent. You know what right. I mean? Right. And we just were more sympathetic or empathetic to females in that situation because it's they're outliers. It's more just like seeing white people being displaced on TV. Right. It's right. an outlier. I mean, we right. dudes barely cried when they saw half of South America migrate. We weren't Yo, letting them man. in. We were it's trying to build walls down. and not let them in. That's what it's I'm still saying. Happening on a daily basis. That's what I'm yeah. saying, bro. I'm not trying yeah. to. I'm down with the Ukrainians. I want them to, to get this shit straight. This shit's wrong, bro. But let's call a spade a spade and let's look at the whole landscape. You get what I mean? Like we deal with atrocities every fucking day. But for some reason, it's whatever the news wants to amplify. That's what we, we look at. And I'm not with I, I, I watch CNN. I'm not a Fox News or I'm not one of these weird right. people. You know what I mean? But well, I guess I, the, my question now is, since this is so magnified, what's slipping under the radar? You know what I'm saying? Since our focus is so like, you know, it's like a magician. Whenever he gets you to look over here. There's all kind of shit. Oh, recession. That he's, you know what I mean? Basically. Recession, the recession. Inflation's through the nose. Mm -hmm. More people are quitting jobs. There's less mm -hmm. jobs. We're at world war. Gas prices going up. Uh, they, they, there's, they can't get unload the cargo ships off the coast. So that means goods can't get to you in time, I'm which means the goods go up. Fire. Yeah, Shit's shit. Catch a fire and sinking with 4,000 yeah. Lamborghinis on you know, it. So the price of Lambos just went up. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a local Lamborghini, Lamborghini dealer, even if it doesn't affect me, I'm telling you the price went up. It's just right. like cocaine. Yo, the, yo, the, yo, the cyber's hit. Yo, the cocaine load, that got hit. That was part of me. My shit, bro. Price is up. Yesterday's now. price. Yeah. Yesterday's, yeah, today's price, price ain't today's price. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We're headed for a fucking recession. And that's what they're not fucking telling you. You know, all the we're in recession territory already. But if they use that R word, don't use the R word. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? It's like uh, it was like that dinner table thing you guys did the sketch two weeks ago. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Careful, careful. Yeah. Recession. That's what they're yeah. hiding from you. Mm -hmm. you. Just look at all the cues, buddy. Inflation. The dollar ain't really worth as much as it used to be. Gas yeah. is up. Food's up. Goods People can't come in. Ooh. Man, they had this story on the news like it was just like that's life. You know what I mean? Like it was about this lady and her husband and their two kids, family of four. You know what I mean? Which used to be the American standard. You know, family yep. of four. You're you're you know golden citizen type shit. That's amazing. But it was about this lady. And she's not being able to, you know, make ends meet and working crazy hours. And they have like a food bank delivery, you know, every couple of days. So it went from like meet every night to like meet twice a week type shit. And that was a real conversation from a person with a job. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow, like it was a double income household, I think. And they're still dealing with, you know, a food bank. So they're just introducing this assisted living type situation for pretty much people that would have never thought they would have to like deal with that, I guess, because she was young. I mean, she was Latino and stuff like that, but um, Latina, I guess. Um, but that shouldn't matter. That shouldn't just be an assumption that she's going to have a hard life. You know what I mean? But it was an, it was an, a familiar imagery, basically like seeing a, a hardworking Latino person 
with a family, you know what I mean? And what they're dealing with. And at this point, it's beyond like spinning tires in the mud. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, no, this is about to be your life. You're going to work super hard and still need assistance. The ends aren't going to meet. Usually, usually the, what's the phrase? I have to do this to make the ends meet. What's happening is the ends aren't meeting anymore. Right. So then what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to suffer. You're supposed to you're supposed uh, to go back to the way it was three, four hundred years ago when what? people worked and toiled and lived in small places and other people walked through the town in carriages and smelled like lavender and lilac. Oh, you know what I mean? Nah, bro, that's it, terrible. It, it's terrible because we got so used to like at least at least there were a couple levels. At least there was aspirate. Listen, bro. It, yeah, because they're still no, selling 50, $50 million dollar homes like it's nothing in LA. You know what I'm saying? Thirty million dollars, <laughs> eight three hundred million dollar, three hundred three hundred million, right? Hundred fifty million, blah blah blah. But you you telling me you can't help this innocent family out that's raising some innocent children and just because like the population numbers are so out of control, like it's just out of control.